Okay, another project today because right now we can't do laundry. And the reason we can't do laundry is because the washing machine dumps into this sink, which is old and ancient and a little gross, but we can, you know, whatever. It's just dumping wastewater into it. However, last time we did it, this bucket ended up underneath it because this pipe right here, as you can see, is no longer connected. Let me see if I can get in there. Yeah, no longer connected. Completely loose and broken away. So we gotta replace it. So let's see what we can do about that. Okay, so I got some parts from Home Depot and the guy said he thought he knew what I needed. Not sure they're 100% right. That's my fault for not knowing when I started out. And uh, so first thing we got to do is loosen up the old fitting up here, and it. Uh, hmm, just want to make sure I don't break it. But I also want to make sure I get it off. And my motto is, if at first you don't succeed, you need a bigger wrench. So here's my big wrench. I try to use this to get the fitting off there. And if it doesn't come off immediately. And I don't want to, again, I don't want to break anything, but that is not, <laughs> that is not a good sign. Um, well, first let's see if it's the right size pipe that I was given. It looks a little small to me. Well, uh, that's about right. So this is the right part, I think. Yeah, so this would fit up there. So it's not the pipe that broke. It's actually the fitting that broke. The metal pipe's fine. It's the pressure fitting that's split in half. But might as well replace the pipe anyway. Because, uh... Metal corrodes is the case here. So let's see if we can get this off. Okay, well, I got a can of WD 40 here. So the first thing we're going to try is just spraying around the fitting there and letting the penetrating oil penetrate. And hopefully get into the uh, Man, yeah. Hopefully that'll get into the uh, the um, the grooves into the thread, and after a while we'll be able to take that off. If that doesn't work, I'm probably gonna get the Dremel tool out and try to um, cut the piece off. So that that'll work no matter what. But hopefully this will work first. I don't know if I'm giving this enough time here, but um, so it should come. this way. <laughs> no, that is not working. Alright, going back to my adage about larger wrenches. Yes, this is a pipe wrench. I shouldn't be using this on here, but I'm going to. The goal here is to not damage the sink in the process. I do hope I will be successful in that goal. Otherwise, we'll be buying a new sink. Hmm. Well, okay, we're going to try to cut it off. So once again, this is going to be Dremel Tools of the Rescue. I've got my cutoff wheel, and if you've seen my... Uh, uh, video on cutting that plexiglass for the childproofing of the stereo. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of plexiglass strands that are uh, wrapped around the center of this thing now from all that cutting, so that's, that's kind of interesting. But we're going to try to use this cutting wheel because I think it's still in uh, pretty decent shape. Might need to use a different one. Definitely going to be using eye protection though. 
Okay, and this time I'm definitely wearing gloves and safety goggles because if this blade breaks, I don't want to get cut or blinded. And we're just going to go and Still got a little ways to go, but that at least weakened it. Mm, bucket, bucket, bucket. There's the bucket. Let's go at this again. Finish it off. <laughs> I think that sparking means we made it all the way to the iron pipe underneath. So let's uh, go ahead and get a chisel of some sort and see if we can break it off. I don't know if this is proper. I got a bricklayer's hammer here and a regular hammer. And the bricklayer's hammer actually seems to have a chisel built on the back of it. So if I. Yep, that works. That is coming off. I'm either going to get this off with pliers. Um, let's try the big pliers. Or I'm going to cut the other side. And pull it off. Nope, got it off that way. Alright. What a piece of junk. But it's probably been there for 20, 30 years, so. That's not too bad. All right, so what do I got to do now? I got to pull this seal off the bottom of the old pipe. Put that off. So let me go ahead and open this up. Well, I'm actually going to unplug the Dremel tool because I don't want that to. to uh, lots of seals. Shoot. No, how's that go? <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to read some instructions. Okay, well, I'm not sure if this is quite going to work right, but it's supposed to be a top hat gasket in the top here. All I got is this, which kind of looks like a top hat. So we're going to go ahead and put that on and uh, screw that into place. Meanwhile, I got the old uh, slip nut and the old gasket, which still seems to be pretty good for the bottom, so that'll go into the bottom there. And uh, full of water. As you can see, originally it looks like this sink went straight into that drain there. Oh, how the codes have changed. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and try to put that on there and get this gas in place. And <coughs> kind of gross under here, lots of cobwebs. never seen a cob, but I've seen a lot of their webs. Alright, well, put a paper towel on there just to protect the trap because it's a bunch of crud still on the bottom of this. And that's what's making it difficult to get the thread on. I don't know if that's the old gasket or... It looks kind of like an old gasket. But we don't want that going down the drain. Not that it's going to do anything, but it could just be calcium build up too. Yeah. 
one way to test it. All right, now let's run water through and see if it holds. Nope, that is leaking. So I think I might need a different part for that top. All right, back from the store, and I got a half type tailpiece gasket. And in looking at the store I was at this time, it's actually kind of nice because they showed you how to install a bunch of stuff because this one actually has instructions on the back as to how it goes in. And that's the other one. So we're going to put this on the top. Also got some Teflon tape that we're going to put around there. And um, I actually kind of like the idea of having a, a PVC PVC pipe instead of a metal pipe and a metal bracket because um, well because the tail piece here is cast iron and the other piece like the old one was probably some kind of steel or other metal um, whenever you have two different types of metals next to each other there's actually a photo uh, an electrolytic cell is formed and if you have one running water uh, one of them actually dissolves and the uh, metal will build up on the other one because there's actually a little bit of a charge difference between the two. Um, that's chemistry. And so over time, you'll have the pipe that dissolves unless you have them insulated from each other, like with Teflon tape, but usually the metal eats, like, cuts through the Teflon tape when you tighten it. However, you don't have that problem with PVC because there's only one metal and PVC is impervious to that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and get down here. And pull off this. We'll pop this gasket out, because that's not right. We'll pop this one in like this. It should seal up to that, and it does. Yay. I just got to get this back on here. Actually, before I do that, Teflon tape. that the nut is going to go on the top of it. Let's do the bucket test again. Still leaking. Boy, will I ever get this right? Okay, I got the piece back off. I think I know what the issue is. Need a gasket on the top too. So, gonna get this back on here. And we've got the hat gasket at the top. We're gonna put this gasket that came with the slip washer on, or slip dot on. I'm gonna push it all the way to the top. And so it's tapered, just like the one at the bottom is tapered with the narrow end facing towards the end. This one's got the narrow end facing towards the end again. And then we put the slip nut back on here. So now that should, that should tighten accordingly. I can even get it in there. And then, uh, yeah, get this one in there. And get this washer on. All right. What's it say? Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. All right. Now with that in there, let's see what happens. 
confidence this time. Hey, look at that. We all live and learn, and that took <laughs> more iterations than I was hoping, but hey, that's what happens when you don't have a source that um, really shows you how to do something right. So hopefully you guys are able to learn from what I did wrong and what not to do, and that yes, you need the little hat gasket on the top, and you need the um, gasket or washer, whatever it's called, that goes underneath uh, the uh, top slip nut as well as the bottom slip nut. And if you do all that right and you get your Teflon tape in there, you can make a P-trap tailpipe from the drain connection uh, that doesn't leak, just like me, in the end. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was that was only a few dollars worth of parts, which was which is pretty good. So. Yep, I hope you guys all enjoyed this and were um, informed by it, and uh, maybe this will help you out with your own project. Until then, uh, enjoy yourselves, and have a nice weekend and week, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.